there is a view of the circuit now there's still a couple of carts being put down so uh, on the grid so there will be a, be a couple of minutes uh, might be a chance for us to have a look now I haven't got the grid in front of me but of course in the pre-final uh, um, there was that incident at the start of the uh, pre-final we saw Aston Sharp the S plate holder getting spun around uh, and that sort of took the took the sting out of the start of the race but there was a great battle at the end where uh, Timo Jungling uh, beat Connor Duncan to the line with a very uh, sort of determined defence coming into the last couple of corners Connor Duncan second Zach Drummond uh, finished third if memory serves correctly and uh, my memory is always a bit hazy probably something to do with my days in university but there we go enough of that uh, we go. Uh, moving on um, so we do have uh, still carts coming onto the grid and uh, out of the window so on your screens there so we are in the sort of the end windows on the left hand side as you're looking at the building at the left the left hand windows on the lower floor uh, is where we are uh, and uh, I can see the carts being put onto the grid in front of me out of the window uh, Anthony how is, how, is, how is the weather um, it was blustery oh blustery that's, that's, that's next to scrubble blust, blustery is the word that sums this weekend up yes yes uh, very very breezy out there but uh, yeah high spirits still though in the scrutineering uh, bay which is not the sort of place you would see high spirits oh, oh scrutineering we're going to get through this first you know, high spirits went, yes we're legal yes <laughs> oh yes they didn't catch us no 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 sorry no, no, no. yes we're legal thank god for that let's go on <laughs> get it in the van get it on the motorway quick no. before they see it yeah <laughs> Oh, uh, so we, yeah, so we have got a, a brief delay. Uh, not, not just, uh, just while we get the cart sorted down, there was a, uh, you know, once again, just, 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 just time to sort out the correct starting uh, grids for the Hondas. I'm definitely going to take a seat now. I've walked in and you were sitting down. I know. I was well, you know, just, just taking the weight off, and you know, I, I, I've got considerably more of it than I did have this time last year to take off. So, uh, but there's a view of the 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 skyline, the. Uh, the Romney Marshes. Now, just at the back, behind all the tents, so you can looking at the back. There's the Project One racing tent. Uh, to the left, with the floor, the four, the four flags. Say that after a couple of pints. Uh, that's the Motorsport UK uh, race control centre, uh, where the stewards sit. And then behind them, you can see that there is a caravan park on the circuit, and there's a lot of the drivers have been staying here at the track in their motorhomes, which, which creates, uh, you know, a, a, a nice atmosphere. Sort of, they're all sort of in the field. Just on the left-hand side, they're parked up nicely, socially distancing, you know, maintaining the etiquette for 2020, which is don't get too close to anyone, you know, sadly. And uh, we've got the rumble of Honda engines you know, up there as they're sort of warming their engines. There's still one or two drivers uh, getting to the grid. Now, normally, there is strict rules on... Uh, you know, sort of grid gate opening times and grid gate closing times. But when there is a judicial going on, so when there is a uh, a, a judicial issue, uh, that means that they're not sure. So that the, the race has been delayed, which is why we're seeing carts sort of drifting on to the thing. And oh, Anthony, look at that! It's it's starting to rain, but the sun but the comes sun out. Sun shining as well. Ah, oh, welcome to Britain. Yes, <laughs> welcome to a British summer. The sun shining, but it's raining. Now let's look at the top. Let's look at the top of those tires there to see, and we'll, so you can see that that. Oh, that's, look at that! That, that looks not like good. a. I'm going to repeat the word that 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 there because I mean that's sort of the. The Look, you see that man in a high vis nose, he's running away from it. Yes, the, the portent <laughs> of, of an ominous sign, and that does not look good. I mean, there's some lovely power lines there. And I've just looked outside the commentary window, and if you could have seen my facial expression. Ah, somebody just spun on the rolling lap. Cart going backwards across the camera screen, and that was the number 54 cart of Devon Nolan. And you and can see the it, shine on the tyres. Yes, that was not over-exuberant warming of tyres. That was 
slight warming of tyres on a slippery track surface. There we go. There we Drop go. You can see the rain. On the camera. And the, the man in a high vis has got his hood up. Now, what does this mean? If they're all on slicks and they start this race now and it pours down, what does this mean? Uh, it's down to race director Ken Potter to decide what is safe. Uh, the driver's safety, these cadet Honda drivers are uh, between 8 and 13 years old, 8 and 12 years old. If it's a light drizzle, as uh, it used to be called on the fast choke end, uh, 90s com comedy reference does not go, uh, it's, uh, these, these youngsters I got with me. If it's just light drizzle, then it is, they, they will stay out there. If it becomes wet and it's a safety issue uh, for the drivers, then it's at the race director's discretion to stop the race and uh, they will be asked to, they will have a, a window to put on uh, wet tires. Let's see what happens. Nathan Clifford, no, Junior Rotax has not done their final yet. Uh, we, that's just, I'm talking, not, that's not the voice in my head. <laughs> my voice in my head's not called Nathan Clifford. Nathan Clifford, kart racer in X30, uh, as in, in X30 was, uh, or cadet, on, cadet my arm, sorry. My, now, my brain's frazzled. There, there looks like there's been a slight delay to the start. The green flag is up at the back of the grid. No, now the, now the lights have come on, so yeah. slight delay but we're going to get going. And I can't tell you, so it's Connor Duncan and Timo Jungling on the front row, Zach Drummond and Ewan Charman on row two, then Joshua Gray and Oscar Tumulty on row three, and it's going to be slippery into this first chicane, and they're all going to get round cleanly. Do you know what? By Jove, they've done it, Harry. They have indeed. My name's not Harry. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there we go. As they go through. Oh, no, there is some carts spinning in the background there. I could see one going. Uh, I'm not sure who it was who went round, but it, the cart looked blue. It was. It could have been Kaiser Raymond. He, he hasn't come to the second sector yet. And Kas, uh, Katzpa Tomalowski and Aston Sharp. Oh, it looked like it might have been Aston Sharp. Again, the S-plate holder, uh, who was starting in about 18th, 19th position. Uh, there he is, and let's have a look. Is he on his own? Yes, I think he's yeah, down at the back yeah. there. So it was Aston Sharp. So it was blue. So yeah. I got, you know, you, 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 you well done. You got your colours right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Um, Ground points. But however, the, the, they the, the drivers certainly don't look like they're tiptoeing everywhere, um, which tells me that the, the, the rain which was out there isn't too much of a problem for them. Uh, Connor Duncan leads the way at the moment. Um, We'll have a quick look at this just to show. So the fastest lap from uh, the, the last heat of the day was you and Charman at 43.31 seconds. So we'll give them the, obviously their first lap. Now they're up to a full race temperature and a change the lead. Uh, yes. Yeah. So uh, the number eight of Zach Drummond and uh, Timo Jungling managed to get past Connor Duncan into turn number four. Looked like uh, Connor just ran slightly wide into the entry and they just both went. Thank you very much. We'll take that. And now the GP plate. Connor Duncan is under pressure from Ewan Charman there and Oscar Tumley. And so 43.58, Max Cuthbert, fast lap of the race. So only two tenths of a second as there goes Jungling back to the front. And, uh, yep. Gets it done. Gets it done, so Drummond second. And here comes Connor Duncan into third and then a whole phalanx of uh, blue and white ambition motorsport carts behind them. Here's number 36 of uh, Mar uh, Lake Tyson. Oh, that's the uh, well, other Jungling brother. Yes. Running slightly wide there, getting pushed off onto the grass, but managing to keep it on the straight and narrow. As he bounced over the grass there, that was almost a rumble in the jungle. Oh dear me. That's too, oh dear me. That, that, that's criminal offence, that is, that one. <laughs> Send over the comedy police and arrest me for crime, crimes against being humoresque. But it's a Timo Jungling who has the, the, the race lead now. People are asking, yes, they are named after Timo Glock and Ralph Schumacher because they were born the year that Timo and uh, Ralph were teammates of the Toyota Formula 1. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. At uh, 12 minutes left on the clock, here's your race leader, the 25 of Timo Youngling. Connor Duncan just behind as uh, that camera pans around, but it's just absolutely neck and neck here with the front four. Now, 12 minutes to go. There they go, crossing the line. Uh, make that seven, seven for six of them, yes. Seven. There's Charm at the back of that group, and also just in front of them, Alfie Thompson in cart number 87 has moved himself to, into contention. So like we saw in the previous race, Matthew Easter. Oh, dear. Oh, that's uh, Mark Tyshurst. Uh, sorry, no, that's his uh, that's Blake Tyshurst. Blake, yeah. Is, uh, is out, uh, not out of this one, but he spins, and that drops him out of ninth position. But... Uh, as, as you saw with Matthew Easton, he's saying you know, he's keeping himself calm. Alfie Thompson, in that number 87 car, hasn't peached in the lead group all day. Suddenly, when the points are on the line, he pops up in a great position. So, 25, Timo Young, the GP play Connor Duncan. 
It's a great draft there from uh, number eight, Zach Drummond, and the number 17 card of Oscar Tawdry. The leading ambition card to work together. And that little, that little oomph that uh, Tumulty gave Drummond, and in turn, Drummond gave it to Duncan, and then Duncan passed it on to, to Youngling. Um, just gave them an extra couple of cart lengths. That's the, that's how the, the draft can work. Well, um, it's number 88, another name. So Josh Graham up into uh, fifth position. Then it is our, well, then it is Al Thompson in, Alfie Thompson in sixth. Ewan Charm in seventh. Jensen Graham in eighth. Gustav Usakov's in ninth. But these top eight, they're 1.2 seconds in front of the ninth place. So that, you can see that lead group. There they go, out to the final corner. Then a big yawning gap before we get to Usakovs, Ralph Youngling, Alex Hawkett, then Max Cuthbert, Henry Jocelyn, Tommy Harfield, Owen Neve, Harrison Mackey, and the rest. Devin Nolan, who spun on the rolling lap, he is running in 17th. Lewis Islin down to 18th. So, but he started at the back of the grid. Now, he had a penalty. He finished fourth on the road in the pre-final did the number 12 car of Lewis Islin. But now he started at the back of the grid, made his way up to 18th already. He had a Cole Denham, Sonny Mortensen, Reg Hayward, Kenzo Craigie, William Murphy, and then Kaspar Tomanowski. Joshua Graham moving up a position there as well, moving up into his original spot of fifth place. He's going to want to try and uh, close the gap up to the group in four. Of course, he was at the sharp end of the stick earlier on today. I'm sure he wants to be there for the final as well as we go sub 10 minutes on the timer remaining as we still watch our top eight eight eight, 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 eight. yeah yeah it's, it's grown hasn't it now um we're on lap seven but absolutely nothing between these uh, drivers as they go through but it's still youngling that leads the way that's timo youngling from connor duncan then it's zach drummond oscar tumley and then it's uh, joshua graham alfie thompson and then jensen graham as well so the two grahams up there and Ewan chairman as well in eighth place now uh like i say nine minutes left on the clock and it's still very much all to play for there as they cross the line. Yes. On to lap number nine now. Oh, Connor Duncan, a little bit sideways over the curb there, but he managed to maintain his forward trajectory. So getting sideways on that curb, he attacked it. It didn't un it unsettle the car, but it didn't, you know, unsettle his pace or his driving. And he what, didn't lose any time, but that was aggressive from Connor Duncan. At the moment, everyone is content to sit line astern. Uh, nobody wants to be the first man to pop their head out above the parapet and uh, and make a move because they don't want to be freight train the back of the group. But uh, you'll start to see, that you'll be able to sort of identify the aggressive, the drivers will start looking more aggressive in the cards. At the moment, there was no aggression there. That was just working with it, trying to push away. Um, there's no sort of jinking around in the braking to try and unsettle the driver out of their peripheral vision. You know, the drivers, obviously, the four-stroke engines, they're behind the driver's left ear. Um, Timo Youngling will be able to hear Connor Duncan's engine and when that engine moves out of the way that's a signal is he gone for lunch because suddenly the, the sound of the engine goes to the left hand side to your right hand side yep. if he's trying to dive up the inside so it's uh, it, they can sense where the engine notes are uh, a couple of drivers looking over their shoulder that was uh, Oscar Tumulty in fourth place and now there's the first move so the first move was teammates uh, number 88 uh, Josh Graham passing Oscar Tumulty and it was just after Tumulty looked over his shoulder and that that uh, gap has grown. The moment, fast lap, the right words, a 43-3 for Josh Graham is the best of the, the laps at the moment. Uh, last time around, now, the camera crew are beginning to report that there's a few more spots of drizzle out there. We'll look at the lap time, certainly. Now, this circuit is split into three sectors, so motorsport timing is split this circuit into three sectors. A purple sector, for a driver, is the best sector time out of anyone in this particular race. A green sector for a driver is that driver's personal best as uh, Connor Duncan and Zach Drummond go uh, side by side for second. And then a yellow sector for a driver is not their best sector of the race at all. And at the moment, I can say that there are yellow sectors up and down the entire field, which means the track, well, none of the drivers are putting in quick lap times, which has partly to do with the fact they're battling in traffic, but mainly to do with the fact that the track is slowing down because there is more and more drops of moisture falling on it. Yeah, and if it's going to be anywhere oh. on the circuit, it's going to be on this back section of the track where they're heading into now. And that's a move for the lead. So Connor Duncan takes the lead for the first time, the GP plate holder. Uh, so, so everyone wants to be in the race lead, but when it starts raining, mm. you know, do you want to be the first driver to hit the damp patch? No, you want to be probably in around sixth to yes. see them all go through, and then that's when you can react. Oh, 
Thompson there getting muscled back at place, but it's uh, now Zach Drummond getting under pressure from Jensen Graham. Graham getting pushed through there by Oscar Tumulty, and it's side by side for the race lead. Timo Jungling, we led that one by one hundredth of a second. Yep, that was a nice little bit of racing there between these uh, drivers as they go through the first chicane, then the second chicane, exactly the same, just a little bit tighter the second time around. And the fast sweeping right-hander here as they head to the furthest part of the circuit away from where we are. And again, Youngling there saying, come on, let's push, let's try and break away from these guys. And you can see that they are a bit, aren't they? So you've got first and second, they've broken away. You've got third and fourth, they've broken away as well. And the times are getting a little slower. Yeah, they're a, a, around three quarters of a second off their ultimate pace so far. I mean, you see Zach Drummond di driving the car. Oh, sorry, that was a Jensen Graham driving the cart very deep into the last corner there, so obviously he's not worried about you know hitting the braking zone and turning in. He knows the cart's going to bite, but it's out this side of the circuit, like you said, Anthony, where the rain is coming from. So through that second chicane, and then under hard braking for the hairpin. And just look there, there goes Duncan to the inside. So he makes, he retakes the lead. Now the top eight are still there, but creeping into contention behind them. A very impressive drive by number 34, Max Cuthbert, and he's bringing Ralph Jungling with him in 9th and 10th position. Then there's another gap back to Gustav Usakovs in 11th with Alexander Hawker chasing him. Henry Jocelyn is a long way back, well, he's five seconds back in 13th place, followed by Owen Neve, Harrison Mackey, Tommy Harfield, Lewis Islin has gained 15 places, so from 32nd to 17th now from here to Islin. Sonny Mortensen, Reg Hayward, Cole Denham round out your top 20. So it's William Murphy. Uh, Kenzo Craigie, Devon Nolan and Blake Tyshurst after that spin stranded back in 24th. Yep, four and a half minutes left on the clock. Again, all eyes on this group. Absolutely nothing between them. You can see second and third across the line identical. There was nothing between them really as they head through. And again, all eyes on this front. The GP still leading the way. Duncan versus Youngling versus uh, Tumblety. He's moved up into third now, up three positions from his original sixth place start. Zach Drummond, he's lost a spot as well. So uh, Joshua Graham and Jensen Graham, the two Grahams looking after each other, nose to tail as they're out there. They head through now on your screens, the 88 and the eight battling away. Yeah, they, the, the lead eight have become a lead seven they've dropped you and charman in cart number 10 so charman in the ambition motorsport 10 and there goes drummond in cart number eight to the inside and picks up third place passing tumulty and uh, number 22 of jensen graham is there as well there comes alfie thompson back into the place so alfie thompson didn't get shuffled to the back of this league group but uh, he was able to sort of pick off you and charman and stay with them and charman is now struggling because he's got no one to draft with that is great drafting there by Timo Jungling and Connor Duncan. Uh, great work working together very, very well there through the first chicane on lap number 17. Three minutes to go and uh, lap time as well, 43.6 last time for the two leaders. So that's only a couple of tenths off their own personal best this race. So those couple of spots of drizzle that slowed the carts just for a couple of laps have disappeared once again. And you can see the back of the screen there, the number 10 card of Ewan Charman. Stroke to keep pace. There's a move at third place. So Drummond loses third back to Tumulty. So the first of the ambition cards now is number 17, Oscar Tumulty. And you can see this. There's the signals. You can see that the arms waving, yeah. you know. You know, that's that, that's part encouragement and that's part sort of like, right, be aggressive. Go, 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 you know. Yeah. Definitely, and uh, of course, are they going to listen to that? Oh, you would have hoped so as they go through. It looked like Younglin had a little bit of a mistake there. Yep. He had a bit of oversteer as he came out of the turn one chicane. That's put him now in danger from the carts behind. He's got the 17 of Oscar Tumlety. Now he's really pushing on the pressure, and I say on that lap as well, he sets the fastest lap of the race as well of a 43.2. That gets the theory of a wettish circuit out of your head if he's setting new fastest laps yep. of the race. Two minutes left on the clock. I think Youngling's under pressure here. Yep, but I mean, because he got a good drag, he gets a good run out of turn number five onto the back straight, which is going to be critical for Timo Youngling, because that means that if he does, is in second coming onto the last straight, he's got the pace to maybe try and weave around and make a move on Connor Duncan. Connor Duncan will be fully aware of that, and Connor Duncan will also be aware of uh, what Timo Youngling did to him in the last lap of the pre-final. That was defend right to the inside of the circuit, which forced Connor Duncan onto the grass, and Connor Duncan, you know, kept it planted on the grass. And Conor Duncan thinking, right, what works for you could work will work for me. 
Yeah, definitely so, as this train just doesn't disappear, does it? It seems to grow and get shorter and then grow again as down the inside Ooh. looks the number eight of Drummond. Can't quite do anything this time. Slots back in behind. I think if he tried to really commit to that one, I think a lack of a nose cone would have been uh, in place yes. after the turn. So the SFR Motorsport team currently lead the race from the privateer driver, Jungling Motorsport Racing. The, 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 the Germanic team name, Jungling Motorsport, Jungling Motorsport Racing, then it's Ambition Motorsport, then two Synergy Factory drivers. Uh, next up, fourth and fifth, uh, Graham and Drummond. And then it's the second SFR uh, Motorsport car of Alfie Thompson with... Uh, the number 88 cart, the second of the Ambition carts in third place. So again, what what uh, Michael Jungling Michael Jungling said, you know, he wants to be a privateer. You know, he's, he's got this this seven in, seven in the lead battle, two from SFR, two from Ambition, two from Synergy, and one privateer. And that's him. Yeah. Here's Max Tyshurst. Uh, so there's, there is Max Cuthbert. I apologise. He has now caught you and Charman for eighth position and has just gone past him actually. Yep, so still positions changing for that uh, fourth place spot. For the top three now on the penultimate lap. Last lap board will come out this time, but still nose to tail. I just got a feeling that the 17 of Oscar Tumlety has got something up his sleeve through these next couple of corners. I just feel like he's lining up uh, Youngling here. Yeah, now, oh, he wants to be he, now, this would be a perfect time for him to make a move because the yep. two drivers behind him have just gone side by side. They've lost a couple of cart lengths. He's not going to be aware of that because he didn't look over his shoulder. Oh. But he looks to the inside on Youngling and that, that move didn't happen. And then Drummond and Gray are behind him. They've sorted themselves out and now they'll catch back up. So Chumulty had a one corner window there to make a move without getting himself under pressure. Here comes Timo Youngling. Connor Duncan back to third. Yep. Timo down the inside, a great move, calculated that well. And uh, Oliver, uh, Oscar, sorry, I should say, covers that second place spot from Duncan as they go through now. It's final lap time. Here we go. It's going to be, who is it going to be? It's uh, Timo, it's Oscar, it's Connor, it's the top three. They've been uh, top three all the way through. Duncan looks to the inside of Tom Now or never. Yep, and here comes fourth place. It's Gra uh, Jensen Graham. He looks down the inside. Can he get the job done? Yes, he Ooh. can. The rest of them try to follow through as well. It's absolute pandemonium, and the GP plate's been sucked out to dry. No, that's actually, that's, that's Thompson. Oh, that's sorry. the 87. It's, it's his teammate. Thompson has been, uh, has been hung out to dry there. Youngling is coming to the final corner and Duncan is not there so you're right Duncan got held up but Timo Youngling wins one for the privateers what a win there for Timo fantastic race there as Connor Duncan crosses the line second place holds on to that one but Jensen Graham as well up into third fantastic, uh, fantastic yep. finish as well so and look at that so the uh, Germany's Timo Youngling beats a trio of Scottish drivers Connor Duncan Jensen Graham and Zach Drummond across the line Joshua Graham uh, the Englishman finishes in fifth position. Then it's Oscar Tumulty. Again, he, he had that chance. He started the last lap in second place, wound up sixth. Alfie Thompson in seventh. Ewan Charman in eighth. Max Cuthbert, great drive from 20th to 9th for Cuthbert. Uh, Ralph Youngling rounds out the top 10. So uh, you can see that there we go. The two Youngling brothers, they bookend the top 10. Uh, Timo at the top of the order. Ralph at the bottom of the top 10. Alex Hawker, 11th. Gustav Usakovs in 12th. Henry Jocelyn is 13th. Lewis Eislin uh, gained 18 places there to finish 14th. Sonny Mortensen was next. Reg Hayward, Harrison Mackey, Owen Neve, Tommy Harfield, William Murphy, Kenzo Craigie, then Blake Tyshurst in 22nd. Cole Denham and Aston Sharp after his spin finishes 24th. Here's a look at the rest of the runners. And that is really good to see. 30 Three drivers, so somebody has withdrawn from the race. 33 drivers started the race, 33 drivers finished. So even the drivers down at the back of the pack, you know, nobody ended the day early by crashing out at the final. There it comes into your screen. There goes the number 12 cart of uh, Lewis Islin across your screens. Um, he'll obviously be disappointed with a 20th place finish but uh sorry disappointed with the 14th place finish in the number 12 car but he'll be pleased with how he gained nearly 20 places the word the number 20 was in my spiel somewhere i knew it uh in that final and uh once again anthony jordan will be down there waiting to interview timo youngling 
cadet honda mechanics are all patiently waiting with their cart trolleys and you can see the wet tires on all those cart trolleys and i'm sure there was a few nervous new nervous mechanics and parents that were just sort of umming and ahhing about that but uh they wait they're going to go through the holding area now all the drivers are being told to stay seated in their carts and uh now they're told to get out. So here is Anthony with Timo Youngling. So in the pit lane, Timo, go on, have a quick word with us here. The camera's behind you. Go on. In the way, there we go. We don't want to get run over by any of these cars, but wow. What I did in that was, it looked like a tough old race. The rain held off amazingly, but a win for the privateers. Yeah. Uh, last lap, I don't know what happened. Just everyone started fighting, and I just managed to get a gap, so I won. Yes, it was a very close race all the way throughout, but yeah, it looked like a hard-fought battle there, side by side with the rest of them as they were going through. But the cart made it to the end. You must be pleased with the team looking after the cart, getting the cart ready for today. I'm just so happy that... I'm on the top step this weekend because I I never expected that coming here. No, I say a fantastic win. The cart gets wheeled off now. It's going to go back to the uh, to the team. But yeah, a win for the privateers and a, a great start to the uh, first round. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Back to you, Henry. So there we go. Uh, so, I'd say a somewhat surprised. I think shell shock might be uh, a term there. You could use it. Timo Jungle in there, admitting that he, he didn't expect uh, to be standing on the top step of the podium at the end of this race but it was very well deserved and to be fair he was absolutely on point in terms of his pace all weekend uh two races to go now and you can see uh, it's it's junior and senior uh, uh junior and senior cadet uh junior and senior cadet junior and senior, what am i about junior and senior rotax have still got to go the first of those races will be senior rotax so senior rotax up next Now, finishing as the lead rookie in Cadet Honda in fifth place overall, Josh Graham. So, Josh, if you stand over there, that's your lead trophy. Finishing in third place, it's Jensen Graham. Well, and Jensen again. Had a nasty accident this morning, came out smiling, and they, oh, you, no, no, gents, you can stand on the podium, stand up on the podium. There you are, Bert, that second second place in Cadet Honda. I'm not sure if he is still here. It's Connor Duncan from SFR Racing, but not only the winner, but also the leading privateer. It's Timo Youngling. So two trophies. Now, Timo, congratulations. A fantastic battle in the final between you and Connor. You just managed to get away. Tell us a little bit about it. So I overtook Connor going into the last corner, going in into the last lap. And and then the people behind just started battling and I managed to get a gap and took the win. Well, congratulations. Well done. Your Cadet Honda winner, Timo Youngling, and podium. I know, I know, gents. You've got to get a plane. I know. There we go. Thank you very much. That is your Cadet Honda top three, everybody, or three of the top five.